El Beats de Día. <laughs> hey, my first beat. A new study from England shows that scientifically there are four occasions where swearing can actually help you out. You want to hear them? Yeah. Numero uno. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe y'all thought I said that. Uh, <laughs> swearing increases pain tolerance. Swearing increases pain tolerance. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> the researchers asked college students to put their hands in ice water for as long as possible. And when they let the students swear, they were able to keep their hands in that ice water for twice as long as they could when they kept it clean. Wow. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> Number two. Swearing helps you let go of anger. I let go of a lot of anger on the way to work today. I know some of you did too, huh? All my New York friends understand. <laughs> we let a little too much anger go on the way to work. Uh, when you're, number three, when you're feeling helpless, swearing can help you feel more in control. The study said that swearing can boost self-confidence and self-esteem and provide the impetus for further corrective action to be taken. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> Is freak <laughs> Did you just dra grab your junk over there? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm glad you are all facing this way. You didn't need to see Jeff over there. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's daytime. It's not, you know, yeah, you go side. Yeah, here we go. Swing it to the side. <laughs> Oh, Number four, <laughs> swearing helps when you're on hold. But I'm sure you knew that. <laughs> swearing helps when you're on hold. Maybe you didn't know this. Apparently, some phone systems are programmed to detect profanity. <laughs> yeah. And all that swearing might, might get you connected to a real person even faster. <laughs> yeah. It's possible. Although it might get you smacked by your mama if she's in the next room. <laughs> Moving on to my next damn beat. Sorry, mom. I read this online. Scientists at the University of Arizona claim you're more likely to get sick if you sit in the aisle seat on the plane. Sorry for those of you who like to sit in the aisle seat. That's the fifth reason to swear. I'm not an aisle seat person, but there are some advantages. You don't have to climb over anyone to get to your seat. You can get up and pee whenever you want. And you get a little extra leg room for that, at least that one leg. You know what I mean? You know how you do it. You know, if you're on this side to get that one leg out there. Um, but research showed that aisle seats have significantly more bacteria than window seats. It's my friends, the bacteria. Why do bacteria look crazy like that? <laughs> because people walking by on their way to and from the bathroom use the aisle seats to help keep their balance. Ew. See, I knew there was a re reason I didn't like aisle seats. How about you keep your hands in your pocket? You don't need to be using the aisle seats to balance yourself. Engage your core. <laughs> That's what all that yoga's for. <laughs> Next beat. Next week, how many people out here are night owls? Yeah. Any night owls out here? Well, I read online that people who stay up late have more negative thoughts than people who go to bed early. <laughs> they sleep, you know? Of course you do, they sleep. I think that's true, especially if you're a night owl living with a morning person, you're gonna have a lot of negative thoughts. <laughs> Especially at 7 a.m. when your partner's whistling in the shower. What the hell are you so happy about? 